Our Circuit City onboard camera rides with Bobby Labonte as he closes up on Dale Jarrett. Now there's Schrader, the yellow car to the inside. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, this back straightaway, as they go down the back straightaway, they're heading that way. Here comes Gordon on the inside. Jeff Gordon in the slipstream of Sterling Marlin and up the outside comes Dale Jarrett. Oh, they, made, they touched on the back straightaway. Marlin on, in the middle there. And here comes the 88 car, Dale Jarrett. And the 28 of Ricky Rudd comes low, trying to sniff a draft off of Gordon. Jarrett to the outside. All that skirmishing left a clear path for Jarrett on the outside. Oh, trouble. Rudd in the wall, hard. Schrader in the wall, hard. Jarrett the winner, Gordon second, and Rudd on his roof for the second time in the butt shootout, reminiscent of 1984 when his car tumbled in the air. Ricky Rudd, Bobby Labonte wrecked on the final lap. Ken Schrader wrecked. Wow. That was some action. In his first ride for Robert Yates, yesterday, Ricky Rudd claimed the outside pole for the Daytona 500. Today, he goes flying upside down. Movement in the car as the safety crews reach Ricky Rudd. That's good news. Remember All in 84, right. he crashed in the bush clash much like this. Came back the next week to finish seventh in the Daytona 500 and the very next week won at Richmond. He is one tough customer. Yeah, and he just waved to the crowd there. I tell you, that was none of his doing there, that wreck, as it started out. He, he was just in the wrong place. If you see him waving to the crowd, that means he's okay. But he has to go to the hospital. That's mandatory when you get upside down or have a wreck at Daytona. That's Rudd on the bottom in the black car. Bobby Labonte in the green car on the outside gets touched right there. You see him get crossed up and across into Rudd, turns him sideways. See Sterling Marlin, he, he makes evasive action there. He was also involved in that. And all three drivers are now just passengers. Here it is again. Looks like the 40 car got into the uh, 18 maybe a little bit and shot him towards the wall. And the two drivers that got the worst of it, Ned Rudd and Schrader, had no place to go. Weren't right, even exactly. part of the start of it. Yes. Now, you could see the car of Sterling Marlin moving up the racetrack. A lot of times you'll get an arrow push off that corner up there. I'm sure he didn't mean to touch no. Bobby Labonte, but when he touched him, that just started the whole series. And, and of course, Ricky, he was just along for the ride once he got touched. These Winston Cup cars have several hundred feet of steel tubing in them. Here's what Ricky Rudd saw. Thank you for the booth. <laughs> Tony Stewart. Cloud of smoke and on to the finish. He just walked out of the infield care center. Are you okay? And what happened out there, Ricky? Well, to answer your question, yeah, I'm okay. And what happened? I don't have an answer for that one. Uh, we were sitting really good, sitting second, right where I wanted to be. And we we're going to make a move with three laps to go. And all of a sudden, Sterling got a little jammed up over there coming off a of two. Something happened. I don't know, his car didn't look just right. So I went ahead and made a lap, made a move a lap early. Uh, when I did that, uh, Schrader was right behind uh, Dale Jarrett. And uh, Things didn't work out like I expected. Next thing I know, I got shuffled back a little bit. But coming off of uh, four, I couldn't tell exactly what happened, but somebody started checking up. They got three wide. Somebody started checking up, and I was sitting around fourth at that time and, and really saw it. I sort of squirted through that hole there, and I was going to end up about second or third and was just getting ready. Man, I made it through there and uh, started relaxing. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm sideways in defense. Somebody got into me from behind. I don't know exactly who it was. I don't know how it happened, but next thing I know, I'm upside down. Mike, 